I can't believe this, guys. This is Hugh Jackman's final time playing Wolverine. So to Hugh Jackman, if you're listening out there, I have one thing to say to you. Thank you. Thank you. Feel it. You still have time. So Logan is the newest film set within the X-Men universe and it is also Hugh Jackman's final time that he is portraying Logan. And in Logan, we follow a past his prime Logan along with a past his prime Xavier. Logan has been taking care of Xavier and after some time, Logan takes in a girl named Laura who happens to be on the run from some very sinister people. Alrighty guys, so let's get into Logan. So if you guys saw Joe, Shane, and I's top five most anticipated movies of the year, you guys will know that Logan was my number two. I have been waiting for an R-rated Wolverine movie. I have been a fan of X-Men since I was eight or I was either eight or nine years old when I saw the first X-Men movie in theaters. My excitement for this film was sky high. I could not wait to see this film and I was hoping this would be the perfect swan song for Hugh Jackman as Wolverine along with the Wolverine character in general. I gotta tell you guys, oh my god, this movie, wow. First one I wanna get to is the girl who played Laura. I, I can't remember her name, I should look it up right now, but I'll put her name right here. But little kids in movies, usually it can either go bad or really good. The girl who played Laura in this film was excellent. She was such a badass and whenever that she was fighting with Wolverine. I can not tell you guys the amount of joy on my face and the amount of tears running down my face. It was amazing. Boyd Holbrook, who plays one of the villains chasing after Logan, Laura, and Professor X, he was really good, really menacing, but he also had some really funny moments in there too. Patrick Stewart as Charles Xavier once again knocks it out of the park. And let me tell you right now, his moments with Hugh Jackman, Wolverine, in this film, some moments were so sweet, I again had tears going down my eyes, and some moments were so funny, I was roaring with laughter. But since that, this is his final time playing Wolverine, Hugh Jackman knocked it out of the park in this film. It was honestly really hard to see Hugh Jackman in the stage as Wolverine because, as I stated before, I watched the first X-Men film when I was either eight or nine years old, and I had grown up watching Hugh Jackman portraying Wolverine. And I gotta tell you guys, absolutely nobody can bring what Hugh Jackman brought to the table as Wolverine. Hugh Jackman is Wolverine. And there were some scenes in this film, I just, I thought that Hugh Jackman, oh God. As you guys can tell, this movie got me pretty well emotionally. All right, now just to get to what everyone's asking, this is an R-rated Wolverine movie, and everyone's going to wonder, does this go for a brutal, gritty, and dark Wolverine? Yes, it does. The first scene, the first scene of this movie goes hard R and brutal. The first scene in this movie had everyone at my screening doing this. Oh! <laughs> for everyone that has wanted a hard R Wolverine movie, this is the film you've all been waiting for. Enough said. When it came to the fight scenes, oh my god, not just the first fight scene, but every fight scene in Logan was incredible. Whoever created out the fights in Logan, hats off to you because the fights in Logan were absolutely brutal. There was a fight that took place near the end. I was gonna tell you guys right now, I was tearing up. It was just beautiful mayhem. Also, one other thing I have to touch on is that this film is beautifully shot. This film has such an indie vibe going for it. This film was had such a low budget feel compared to the other X-Men movies, which I absolutely adored. There was this one scene that takes place in a hotel. Watch out for that scene. It blew me away, and I was, again, in utter joy watching this particular scene. One thing I just absolutely adored about this film was not only the ending but the final shot of this film. Just absolute perfection. Honestly, I don't have any cons. They're more like nitpicks with the film, but they're so minor that they don't drag the film down at all. A few small plot points that I was able to just call out, but 
other than that, that's really it. But then again, like I said, it doesn't drag the film down at all. Overall guys, Logan was exactly the film I wanted it to be. It was brutal, it was dark, it was gritty, and most important of all, it was the perfect swan song for the character of Wolverine that Hugh Jackman had portrayed for over a decade. It's been an absolute pleasure to watch Hugh Jackman play this character from my childhood to my adult years and to see it end like this. And I couldn't have imagined a better way for Hugh Jackman to end his run playing well, my favorite comic book character of all time. And as you guys guessed, it's one of my favorite films of the year. As of this moment, it is my favorite film of the year. We'll see how the year goes along to see where, where it ranks on my top 10 of this year. But as it stands, it is my favorite film of the year right now, and I'm gonna give Logan a five out of five stars. I absolutely adored this film. I'm going to see it again for a certain. For any of you guys that have wanted that hard R Wolverine film that was brutal, you guys have finally got that film. By the way, leave the kids at home. This is for adults. All right, guys, so comment down and let me know below which X-Men film is your favorite out of all the ones that have been released. Let me know below. I hope you guys enjoyed my review of Logan. If so, please like this video. It helps me out a ton. Please share this video with your pals and have them like this video and also subscribe to see more content from me if you want to see more content from me. And as always, until the next review, I'll see you guys next time.